Hey guys, what's up? It's Em. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. So I've been doing a lot of jewelry content recently and I wanted to kind of change things up a little bit. I thought I'd do a little get ready with me. I've been getting back into making Pinterest boards. I feel like it's very on brand with my whole ID major type vibe. And I've just been pinning outfit inspiration. I've been really, really trying to shop my closet, shop my stash use what I have. It's really hard. I, I've low-key still been like buying random stuff because consumerism, consumerism has consumed me. However, I think I'm just really into that natural bronzy summer goddess, natural glam kind of look. Actually, you know what? I think I saw a video about like island girl makeup. I feel like that'd be so fun. I'm not dressed like an island girl whatsoever. But I think this creator on Instagram, Chic with Kells, I think she's the one who started this kind of um, island girl makeup trend. I could only dream of being an island gal, but um, I low key already did my base. I actually used some very tropical, if you will, products. I used the Hawaiian Tropic um, Weightless Face Sunscreen. I think I got this a long time ago, so I really need to use this up. It, I honestly feel like it gives a nice glow to the skin. It doesn't break me out, even though it is quite heavily fragranced. So that's my warning to you guys. I have these cute little flower clips that one of my friends got me for Christmas. So I might as well throw that in my hair. Let's do this. Girl in the video, she starts off with blush. So I guess I'll do that too. She does like a very pinky, rosy, pinkish, reddish blush. I'm not sure if I have anything like that. Okay, I've discovered that I don't really have any colors like, actually, no, yes I do. Why am I being Delulu? Okay, I think the, I think the closest color I have to what she used is this Glossier Cloud Paint in Storm. Her lip color is pretty similar to this color, honestly. She did brows. I'm like such a mess. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna start blending. I forgot I had like a little pimple patch on. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and I look ridiculous. So how have y'all been? I feel like it's been so long since I've done like a really casual video like this. I'm traveling to Seattle soon, so I'm gonna try to vlog that even though um honestly my first seattle vlog is like one of the least viewed videos on my channel go give that video some love i honestly really liked that video i thought it was kind of silly and fun but anyways <laughs> actually turned out really pretty doing my bronzer after my blush. I feel like I usually do it bronzer and then blush. I think this chain came out really cute. Okay. I didn't bring any of my clear brow products with me, which is ridiculous, but I'll just use this little gel from Merit. I love the packaging. It feels very luxe and I love how it kind of matches my jewelry aesthetic. Just keep it really light. And I think I'm gonna deepen up the eyes just a little bit, just to add a little bit of, I'm gonna go in with Cashmere Bunny from the Too Faced palette. Ooh, it smells good. These names are really spicy in this palette. I feel like I never realized they're really giving NARS a run for their money. I'm gonna add a little bit of dimension to my nose. I like to use this Peri Para shading. Ink V shading. And this is in the shade two, Cacao Brown. I like to do like my nostril area and then a little bit over the top to get that kind of button nose look. I got this comment one time that was like, why does everyone contour their nose to look like Cindy Lou Who? I can always count on my, my YouTube comments to keep me humble. I don't know if she powders. I might add a little bit of powder to my forehead just because I didn't really put that much product up there and I don't need more attention to my my five head so the next thing I'm gonna do is go in with a little bit of liner just to kind of wing out the outer corners of my eyes I think winging out 
the corners of my eyes is like the biggest game changer to my makeup like in my entire life honestly i think that it really just like makes my eyes a lot more defined i like to like look through my demographics sometimes and i do see that there's a big group of you guys who are like around the same age as me i'm so curious are you guys in college are you guys working are you maybe doing your own thing like a sabbatical type thing i'd love to hear what y'all are up to because i feel like my life is honestly quite boring and i feel like i love just like hearing about what other people are up to it's like so fun i do have a really major decision that i have been faced with can't tell if i did my lashes a little too intensely but yeah there's been a big decision that i've been faced with and i'll share more details when the time is right i'll share more details when things have been a little bit more finalized but but yeah it's honestly a pretty big thing so I'll, I'll leave you guys on that little cliffhanger, sorry. Okay, I think we're like almost done basically. I think the last step is just a little bit of lip liner. Using this Maybelline um, lip liner in Totally Toffee, it's amazing. Super pretty color, I love this lip liner. I'm gonna add a little bit of a gloss. So cute! Ish. Wait, no, I forgot the freckles. Oh, I don't know if I'm doing this right. <laughs> Hold up, I feel like I can't see. Oh my god, I'm trying to stamp, but it's not working. I feel like these look really fake. So you just go like this. And then you blend. Yay, brow gel to save the day. Okay. Thought I'd change into something a little bit more island gal appropriate and on that vein I wanted to show you guys a couple of jewelry pieces that I feel like really complete this look You might know quince from a lot of their clothes, but they actually sell a lot of fine jewelry So they actually do a lot of pieces that are similar to the big name brands like Missouri Stone and Strand but at a fraction of the price I feel like I've seen a lot of people talk about quince's clothing, but not really about their jewelry So I thought this was a great opportunity to showcase some of these pieces to you so the pieces that they sell are fine jewelry pieces they have gold vermeil as well as solid 14 karat gold and those are the ones that i picked out so this bold chain ring is 14 karat gold and i feel like it just makes such a statement it's a true chain ring so it's like floppy <laughs> and i love how versatile it is like the style of this ring makes it a little bit harder to fit on the exact size so this is a size six so i have to take a little bit of time to kind of slide it down my finger the one nice thing is that it fits really nicely onto rings that are slightly smaller so it fits really nice on size five fingers i just love how it looks it makes a total statement so i'd been eyeing these pieces on the Missouri website for a really long time but they were just like a little bit out of my budget on the quince website they'll show you a comparison between their pricing and other brands pricing so you can see how much more you're saving when you buy from quince so i've been eyeing the same style on the Missouri website for lord knows how long and i finally got them on quince they're just a super simple and classy bold huggy hoop but i feel like that makes them really versatile you can wear them in a first piercing a second piercing in a cartilage i feel like the options are really boundless with such a classic style Missouri also has a bold chain ring that i've been eyeing for so so long so these pieces are perfect for the warmer weather because they're solid 14 karat gold they're not going to react with the elements like the heat the salt water sand etc they're going to look amazing and they're just very hard wearing pieces solid gold pieces are very carefree so i feel like that really goes along with the kind of coconut girl aesthetic you can frolic on the beach all you want and they're going to still remain absolutely beautiful so that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to quince for sending me these amazing pieces i'm absolutely obsessed and i'm so ready to channel coconut girl this summer and spring i'll have both of these pieces linked in the description box down below as well as a couple of other pieces that i feel like would really match the coconut girl aesthetic i think it's a really great deal if you're looking to invest in some low maintenance high quality jewelry that you can wear all summer long without any worries Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really love this look and I feel like I'm gonna be doing this look so, so much. I'm just 
obsessed with how beachy, flushy, and it just looks so fresh and juicy. Like the skin looks very juicy. This wannabe island girl is signing out. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.